Hello everybody, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Telenium Marketing and today I'm going to share with you the basic techniques to using the basic tools of Adobe Illustrator by creating objects. So I'm creating a paper bag here that you can easily create just by using the basic functions of Adobe Illustrator. So if you are learning Illustrator and you are a beginner and you want to know the technique, then you can just adopt this uh, skill so and by using these type of tools that I will use throughout, the, throughout my tutorial so you can you it will be quite easy for you to learn the basic techniques so let's start now first of all what i'm going to do i'm simply taking this pen tool from here and just create a irregular rectangle just like this by connecting four points together simply like this i have just created it and now what i'm going to do i will select this layer and press ctrl 2 to lock this layer so it will be quite easy for you to work on the other layer so i will use the pen tool again now and here i will simply take us curve lines like this and we are creating 3d illusion to this back so i will take create a line like this here and now what i'm going to do i'm simply taking this pen tool again and here i will create a straight line just to create a middle part to this back so here you can see how the design is looking like now and here i will select both layers together and here i will use the shape builder tool and i will separate this line but before that make sure that your line is properly aligned like this so now what i'm going to do i will use this shape builder tool here and i will separate these lines here and now if anything you know uh, going out overflowing then you can remove it just by clicking it um, click on it and delete the hit the delete button and now what i'm going to do i will create some color formation to this design but before that i'm unlocking this uh, layer and here you can go into the object and you can here lock and unlock option is available so what i will do i will simply create some you know uh, colors to this design so i will choose the basic color of the paper bag and here i want to remove this stroke color from here and i will use the same color to this layer and here i will use some related colors so for the related colors i will take this one here and i will just increase it um, so the the color is quite related and here what you can do you can simply take it like this here and here i'm taking the pen tool again and just creating a simple rectangle here like this if you want then you can also do the same thing again take this color here and just take a different color formation to this design so you can see how the design is looking now make sure every layer is properly aligned so it will create a realistic look to the stack now what i'm going to do i will just create an inner part of this design so for this i'm simply connecting lines like this here so this will create a realistic uh, way of to just showing the inner part of the stack and now what i'm going to do i'm simply taking this one on a side here and here i will use this circle here and now take a copy of this by pressing ctrl c and ctrl f and select both layers together going to the align tool and keeping it on in the middle and here you can simply go into the window pathfinder and now i just mind uh, you click on it to minus one so it will be looking like this now here you can change the color formation i will use this one here and i'm simply taking this one and changing the blending color formation to this one here and now what i'm going to do i'm simply taking this ellipse again here and now i'm converting one so you can see how it would be looking like now you can just take it and side to back so it will be looking like this now here you can go into the effect just highlight drop shadow 
Okay, so it's looking at the wheel now. So now we are going to use it. So I want to, but before that, I will go into the expand appearance option. And I will want to increase a little bit so you can scale it up according to the back size. And now press Control G. Keep it here. Take a copy of this by pressing Control C and Control F from your keyboard and align it properly. Sorry for this, my son is sleeping with me, so he was just coughing at the moment, not feeling well. So now what I'm going to do, I'm I'm using the paint brush tool here just to create a hanging look to this back. So just like this here, and now I'm just removing this color from here and just using this one clear here and now you can increase it to two points might be better so I'm using the two points just like this or might be the one point so you can see how you want to do this if you want to work on this you can press direct switch to A and you can increase and decrease whatever you want to do to make the settings and here I want to go into the effect the stylized drop shadow press ok here so it will create a more realistic look and now the next phase what I'm going to do I will select these ears Together, but I will not use this one. I will press, I will press Control G here and keep it on the side for the time being. And here, you can simply take this layer like this. And here, I want to use the color. Now. We are taking this from here and keep the opacity around 20%. So here now I can fix it just like this here. So make sure it's the front to range and bring to front. It will be looking like this. Now we are going to use this fan tool again. So I want to create a little curve to this design and to use this fan tool. You can simply create design like this here. And I want to use the same capacity, so I will use this eyedropper and I will click on it so it will go into the same color. And now, the next part we are going to write something in the middle, like the brand name. If you're working on the brand identity, then you can also place the logo or the business name as well on the way back. So, I'm writing Sukhana. This is the dummy name, so you cannot uh, relate to any. A business name here. So I'm just taking a dummy name here. Excuses if somebody has this brand name. So what I'm going to do, or might be we are not taking this name here. It might be a brand name of someone. So I'm just taking a business or the identity. So I'm just taking this one here and change the black sword. So what I'm going to do, I'm removing this one. Or might be you can just create a spacing points. So it will be looking like this. Business name, you can place the business name here. 
So I'm using the black salt font. This is the default font or the free font that I've just downloaded from thefont.com. So if you want to use this similar font, then you can take it from there. And now what we can do, I'm going to use this color, but uh, only this book part, I will not use the full color. So it will be looking like this. If you want to keep it strong, then you can use the two points. And it will be like this here. So this is a very easy and simple concept to create these type of objects in Adobe Illustrator. So if you learn these techniques, then you can create a variety of objects uh, in Adobe Illustrator. So this is very simple and very easy. Before doing anything else, what you can do, you can simply convert it into outlines and here you can expand it. And now we are going to simply take a copy of this here. Press Ctrl C, Ctrl F and now we are going to create a smaller version of this bag. So you can create variety of bags here by using the same concept with different colors, with different formation. So what I'm going to do now is simply taking this one here, control C, control F. And here I'm creating another version of this bag here. So you can create variety of bags here. But here one thing that I want to do before doing anything else, when you select all these layers like this, you go into the object here, expand appearance, overall appearance of the design, and now expand it. Okay, and press control G, control C, control F again, and now you can scale it down so it will be properly scaled down so you can see how the design is looking now so this is a very simple and easy concept to create these type of graphics in adobe illustrator that you can easily create just by looking into the basic concepts of uh, different tools in illustrator mostly they have we have used the pen tool so this is a very simple and easy way to create a paper bags in Adobe Illustrator. So if you like my tutorial, then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Have a very good day. Bye bye. I will come back to another tutorial. So if you have any request to create any tutorial, then you can also share with me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.